Since we're all stretched out, ready to go, we have some blood pump into our bodies, let's get into stationary basics. The first basic that I want to do are stances. First stance that I'm going to show you is horse stance. What you want to do is you want to step out about one and a half times shoulder width. Feet are pointed straight ahead, back is straight, your hands come to your waist. Now, you want to bend your knees all the way down as far as you can. Now, you don't want your thighs to go below parallel. If you do this, it's going to cause harm to your knees and your hips. And you don't want your thighs to be here because you're not getting the full range of motion and you're not exercising your legs the same you would. So you want your hands here, bend down, thighs parallel with the floor. Make a nice even line. Back straight, looking straight ahead. This is a horse stance. Knees, you do not want to bend in and you don't want to bend too far out. You want them just to be comfortable forward, pushing them out a little bit. Horse stance, just like this. Moving on to the next stance, right from here, we're going to go into a bow stance. All we do is we turn our feet 45 degrees, straighten one leg, and keep the other one bent. Now notice, there's a 90 degree angle formed here between my leg, which you can't really see because these pants are pretty baggy. There's a 90 degree angle formed between my thigh and my calf and my leg is parallel with the floor. You do not want to do this. This is not a correct bow stance. And you do not want to do this. This is not a correct bow stance. You want your thigh to be parallel with the floor, both feet pointed same direction, back knee straight, body straight, tilted 45 degrees. Hands at your waist, looking straight ahead. This is a bow stance. Same thing that we did with the stretches, you want to keep the same level. So, to change stances, we're going to go back to a horse stance and then go right over to the other side. Just like this. Now notice, both of my stances are symmetrical. You want a 90 degree angle, leg is a perpendicular with the floor, back is straight, back knee is locked, feet are pointing the same way. Just like this. Let's do it again, switching sides. Come back to a horse stance and switch sides. A little bit faster. You want to incorporate the torquing of the hips to change stances faster. So you want to go one, two, three, four. Back to horse stance. So far, we've gone over the horse stance and the bow stance. Next stance that we'll go into is the resting stance. Right from here, you want your front foot to be pointed straight ahead. Your back foot is going to cross behind on the ball of your foot. Right from here, you bring your hands to your waist always. Keep your back straight. Right from here, all you're going to do is sit down. Make sure that your knee is tucked tightly under your opposite leg, sitting here. Always on the ball of your foot. Foot is flat, back is straight. Resting stance. Coming up, same thing on the other side. Stepping behind, dropping down, tucking the knee tightly underneath, keeping your back straight. Resting stance. And come back up. Same thing. Step down. Up. Step down. And up. Horse stance, bow stance, resting stance. Next is the empty stance. Empty stance is a lower version of the cat stance. Traditional cat stance is just like this. Your back is straight, hands are at your waist, knee is bent, there is no weight on the front leg. This is a cat stance. Empty stance is basically the same thing, except you increase the difficulty. So you're going to go lower, making one thigh parallel to the floor. Hands are optional here. You can keep them at the waist, or you can perform one of the various other techniques that I'll show you next time. Foot is pointed straight ahead, or 45 degrees. Stepping forward with the other leg, and dropping down. Thigh is parallel with the floor. There is still no weight on the front leg. All right, we want to be able to pick up the front leg without falling over. Thigh is parallel. Notice, back is straight. I'm leaning forward. That's to keep balance. All right, back is straight. You don't want to be hunched over like this. Back is straight. Hands can be here, 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 any way that you feel. And then you come back up. Same thing on the other side. Bend the knee and come down. 
thigh parallel with the floor. This thigh is probably going to be higher because you're going to be going so low. Being able to lift up the front leg and putting it back down. Then come back up. Same thing on the other side. And up and other side. And up. Those were some of the basic stances that we do in Wushu. Although they may seem difficult, once you get used to the thighs being so low and opening up your hip joints, they're going to come pretty easy to you.